Hi and welcome to another tutorial in the Make the Cut Basics tutorial series. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you the text and fonts tab, show you how to work with text in Make the Cut, and also how to import custom fonts that you've downloaded from the internet. So to start, over on the right hand side of the screen under Main, we're going to click on the text and fonts tab. Now this shows you all the fonts that you have installed on your computer already and if we click the down arrow you get a great big long list of all of those fonts. So I'm just going to choose one just to show you a few basic things and then we'll go out and actually pull in a font that's been downloaded from the internet. So I'm going to start off with Arial Narrow and you'll notice in the lower part of the screen here that you now have all of the letters and it actually shows you what each individual letter looks like. Now if I click on the B for bold it shows me what that letter will look like bolded and I can also italicize it. So I'm just going to bring a few letters onto my mat and there's a couple ways that I can do that. If I want to type a word I can click over here on the right where it says add a group of characters and it gives me this little pop-up dialog box where I can actually type my text. So I'm just going to be really basic here and type hello and then click on add and now you can see that those words or letters have actually appeared on my mat in Make the Cut. And now this is actually a series of characters that I can resize or rotate or do whatever I want with. So I'm just going to move that up there out of the way. The other way that I can bring letters onto the cutting mat is by individually selecting them. So I'm going to bring in the same word here. I'm going to bring in an H and to do that I just double clicked on it and then an E, come down here to the L We'll bring in two L's and an O. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit and if you notice when I typed in the word hello the first time that all came in as one solid piece that I can move around. When I brought in the letters individually they actually in as individual elements that I can move and rotate independent of each other. So if I wanted to just cut out all of the individual letters to put onto my card or scrapbook page, I could bring the word in this way. If I want to actually create some word art, I would bring in each of the letters individually. And then you have the option of rotating the letters like this. And to switch between the different corner handles here all you need to do is just click on the letter itself and when you get these little arrows that point two ways those are the arrows that let you resize. So what I'm going to do here is just do a little bit of rotating and resizing and I'm going to create a bit of word art with this word and you'll notice that as I move the letters around I'm actually overlapping them. Bring that O over there and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to rotate it back a little bit and I'm going to overlap it with that L. So now I've got all these letters overlapped with each other. Now what I can do, I'm going to just click and drag a box around the entire word and now you can see that all of those letters are selected and I'm going to come down here to the bottom and weld those letters together. Now as I click this watch what happens to the letters. You'll see that they became one solid shape and now I can actually cut this word out on my electronic cutter as one solid piece and then add it to my card or my scrapbook page. So that's how you can create some word art with Make the Cut. And now I'm going to show you how to bring in a font that you've downloaded from the internet. So if we come back over here to the text and fonts tab and this first little button here on the right says add font from TTF file and TTF just stands for true type font. So we're going to click on that and I'll just make this window a little bit smaller here. 
So this is a bunch of true type fonts that I've downloaded from the internet for my scrapbooking projects. Now when you're looking for fonts to cut, um, there's a couple things you want to look for. Number one, you want to look for one that's not too detailed. For example, something like this Rage font might be a little bit too detailed to actually cut on your electronic cutter. You also want one that has fairly smooth lines. Some of the fonts that you download are quite jagged and that might give your cutter a little bit of trouble. So I'm going to select this Hauser font. It's just a nice thick font. So I'm going to click on it and it shows me here exactly what the font will look like when I bring it in to make the cut. So I'm going to click on open and it tells me the font has been added. Now this has just been temporarily added to make the cut. If I close make the cut and open it up again, that font is going to disappear from my list and I would have to bring it back in again. But for now that font is in my list so you can see it's an installed font here called Hauser. And here's all the different letters, numbers and characters that are available in that font. Now from here I can create my word art in the exact same way. So I can either type a word or a phrase with individual letters or I can double click on the letters and bring them in one at a time. Just like this. So I'm going to say go team. And again, to bring the letters in individually like this, all I'm doing is double clicking on them. And there's my M. So I'm going to select the word team and just bring it down underneath here. Now again from here I could just cut these letters out individually or I could do a little bit of rotating, move them together, overlap them, weld them together and actually create a piece of word art that I could cut out on my electronic cutter. So that's the basics of using the text and fonts tab in Make the Cut. So have fun playing with that and creating your word art.